Hola guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we're doing part two of Chris, my Christmas secondhand purchases for the month of July. Before the month of July is over, I just wanted to finish because after that we're going to go through my um, fall bins and we're going to start pre-fall decorating and, you know, bringing the darker colors. You know, we're not doing pumpkins just yet, but we're going to bring darker, moodier colors to get us into that vibe and get us ready for fall so we're just going to get right into it and i'm going to show you the rest of the items that i have all right so the first thing that i have here in my hands i found this book at um at savers i think it was i we don't have a savers here in florida so i was super excited to find it when i did and i think i paid like 75 cents for this book and i think it'll look beautiful for my vintage christmas display and then I got this one because this one, uh, I was looking for a book that was in my son's year. Is it this one or this one? Or is this one? So I was looking for a book because um, if you're new here, my son passed away um, almost a year and a half ago, about a year and yeah, about a year and a half. And um, I wanna do uh, 80s Christmas because he was born in 89 late 80s early 90s and so i found a book that was in his year and i actually found the horsey that looks just like that too so i might display the horsey too and it's really old it just has a whole bunch of stuff here that you can do with your kids but i don't know i thought it was fun and so i paid a dollar 99 cents for that one and i paid 99 cents for this one too and so, yeah, I was just super excited to find older vintage books for my son's vintage Christmas. And this one's 1991, which I also had a son that passed away three weeks later and he was born in 1991. So it'll pretty much represent my son, Jonathan and Joel. I'm sorry about the noise, but I have everything left in bags. Oh, and to... And to display the books i got these little because joa had little booties like this in white when i baptized him and so i found this at an antique shop and this cost me 20 dollars. and sometimes i come across them at goodwill for like five six ninety nine they're just the quality is not the same these are super super heavy you can tell they're super old <laughs> but i just thought it would be cute to hold the books together so i got that and sometimes I go to I find one and I don't find the other. These are just bags that was given to me for 50 cents and I have them here that way I can, um, I can um, use them for whatever I need. All right, and Joelle also used to play ball. So I got a whole bunch of uh, baseball. Some of these are really old. My husband was looking at the year and I pay a dollar fifty because I remember exactly. Some of them are signed; they have signatures, they have sayings, and I just I thought this was amazing. Like I wish I can find one of these young men and be like, oh, you know, <laughs> I have something you used to. Never mind. Every whichever way I'm trying to say it, it's gonna come out wrong. <laughs> so, anyways, um, and I just thought that this will be cool to display like by joel's pictures or something you know for my vintage christmas that's just my way of celebrating vintage christmas for my son i got this little um does it say what year this is i just got it because it was cute this little tin you know i didn't get it for anything special i just thought it was cute and i want to kind of display um vintage tints like this i want those um I'll probably say around those thermals, therm I don't know, you know, where you keep the hot coffee and the old vintage ones, but uh, no luck. And then this, I just picked it up because I thought it would be cute for my kitchen to put a little Christmas tree. I'm sure it had a lid at one time. It probably came from Dollar Spot at Target or something, but again, this would be super cute to just put a tree and put it in my kitchen. This was like a dollar or something, I don't remember. Now, I'm gonna show you guys um, what my husband got me from Facebook Market. Well, except this, this is from Hobby Lobby. And this, I've been having, um, 
I pay a dollar nine. This was when it was 90% off. And I didn't know that this was like a like a dupe to the Pottery Barn Cups. I didn't know that. So now I want to get the rest of them. They look like, you know, they have different faces. So these are the ones from Pottery Barn and my husband got me. The lady gave us a really good deal. This was $20 for um, the little mugs. Let's see, um, it says Pottery Barn down there on the, on the lower bottom line there. And then I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see if I find the one that looks like this one. No, because they all have the same um the eyes close on the other side but anyways you'll get the what i'm trying to say it's very similar you know very very similar this is hobby lobby these are pottery barn so she gave us this and these my grandkids so yeah we got these two here and we got these two so we got a total of four and then she gave me these two so everything was twenty dollars these are pottery barn too and these are just Santa's. I don't know what I would do with these. They say microwave and dishwasher safe. So I'm assuming it's a, it's a dish for something. But for what? But they are super cool. Hopefully my husband gets my the shelves that I want on time for Christmas. And I can display all this stuff. All right. So I'm going to get the other box. It has the rest of my Pottery Barn stuff. And I'll be right back. I'm trying to fix this oh my thing on my camera is like a little loose okay so the other stuff that she gave me well she didn't give me i bought it <laughs> our measuring cups and this also was 20 dollars, i think or 25 i don't know these are also from pottery barn look how cute they are they match the cups super cute and then I got the one cup, again from Pottery Barn. I got the half a cup. <gasps> He's fine. And I got this cute little one fourth. Hi Kelly, no, he's so cute. And I got, with the set, the one third. Is that how you say it? I don't even know because I don't measure anything. I'm Puerto Rican. We just sprinkle our life away. <laughs> All right. Let me put these back. And then the other two items are huge. And she gave us this item and the other item for $30, guys. $30. I was like, no freaking way. But she did. I don't know why she was over her pottery barns. But I was not complaining because, girl, you can send it this way. <laughs> All right, so the next item, it's in a box. She even gave me the Pottery Barn boxes. The other one, I might have to turn it around, turn the camera around. But look at this. I don't know how much she paid for this at Pottery Barn, but I'm sure it was a pretty penny. And it comes like this. And it says, like, a, it's a serving tray. All right, that's what she said, I think. I think it goes this way. I think I got it. So it connects like this and it's like this. Isn't this beautiful? Wait till you see the other one. The other one is huge. I'm going to give you a close up of this one, but it is beautiful. The other one, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm in my room, so I'm going to have to probably lay it on my bed so you guys can get a close up of that. And that will be it for my Christmas in July video that I really wanted to get out for you guys. And then I can't wait to start my fall season, my fall session. Season, session, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's turn the camera around. So the other one is in this box. And I'm going to open it and show you guys. Like I said, she gave me this one and this one for $30. I thought I was one heck of a deal.